Hello, and welcome to Stranger's Mark. Now, this is a short visual novel game where we run into a stranger in a dark alleyway who has quite the obsession with our tattoo. Now, this is a short game, so I better keep the intro short too, so please, sit back, relax, and enjoy. This game was made for the O2A2 VN Jam 2024, a micro visual novel jam with strict asset limitations and a thousand word limit. Content warning, light gore slash blood. Oh my. So, why did you want to meet up again? It's been a while. I... Well... I remember that you work for that one institute. You know, the one dealing with all these supernatural cases. So I figured that you might be able to help me. Did something happen to you? Yeah, I guess. I really don't know where to start. It's fine. Just take a deep breath and start from the first thing you remember. Alright. Oof. I was on my way home from a long shift. Being unbelievably tired, I decided on taking a shortcut on my way home, just through some dark alleyway. Sure, it did seem a bit unsettling, but I figured that nothing could go wrong. And so I went. Big steps to get through there as quickly as possible. To my dismay, that also meant I wasn't really looking where I went, and so... I ran into someone with full force. Ah! The person I ran into was a young woman, jumped at the touch. I think she probably would have fallen to the ground hadn't she gripped my arm to balance herself. I did wince a bit, but less from the impact and more from her cold touch. You really should look where you're going. Oh, sorry. Oh well, it's fine. She gave me a wide smile, which somehow just seemed so unsettling. Looking back, I think it was because her smile never quite reached her glossy, lifeless eyes. Whatever that means. The stranger was still gripping my arm. This situation started to get more and more uncomfortable for me, which is why I asked her to let go of my arm. If she was alright. Oh, I get to choose? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Let's ask if she's alright. Are you alright? I hope I didn't hurt you. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. She let out a small giggle, but that only served to feel my unease. That's good. But... Um, yeah, if you would excuse me, I need to go. Ah, yes, of course. Just as she wanted to pull back, she noticed something on my arm. And suddenly, her gaze was completely fixated on it. Oh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. You don't see fine line tattoos this clean very often. Thank you. For a moment, her eyes seemed to light up a bit. Not that it was making me feel any better. How old is this tattoo? Her eyes met mine, and I could feel my stomach turn a bit. Trying not to panic, I gave her a quick answer. Uh, I really need to go five years or so. Ah, uh, five years. I don't want to run away, I bet she kills us if we try. And it's still so clean. Very impressive. Thanks. I think so too. Her gaze had shifted again. It was back on my arm. Which she was still holding. I have to say, I'm a bit sad that you're acting so distant. Ooh. Don't think that I haven't noticed the way you're keeping me at arm's length. But well. I think we actually have a lot in common. Lady, I barely know you. So, what do you think about being friends? I could feel my heart missing a few beats at her proposal. Me? Being similar to that smiling, glassy-eyed weirdo? Feeling completely overwhelmed from whatever this woman was actually suggesting, I answered the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> but I don't know you! Oh, come on. Don't be a stranger. You can consider me your friend. In quotation marks. The place her hands had rested on was nearly numb now due to her coldness. That's why I didn't realize her nails digging into my skin until they drew blood. Oh... A scream escapes my throat. I wanted to run, but her grip was freakishly strong. I couldn't get away. The pulsing pain was overwhelming, and then suddenly... I saw her standing there, with a piece of my skin in her hand. What? I think she noticed my panicked expression because she told me with a sickeningly sweet smile. Oh, don't worry about the gap. I'll fill that with one of my favourites. What? 
I fell unconscious after that. When I woke up hours later, in that alleyway, I was all alone with... She just nods. Her gaze bored into the place where my other hand rested, as if I was hiding it from her all-knowing gaze. I let out a defeated sigh as I pulled up my sweater and revealed a new patch of skin, seemingly hastily sewn on. The skin was a tad too light and a bit too soft, and the tattoo on it was completely different. Thick lines make up a simple yet aesthetic image on my skin, but it's nothing I would ever wanted. I take another look at her. There is no sympathy or pity in her expression, she just looks so, so curious. I truly hoped that it was a good idea to come here. N1, okay. Stranger's Mark by Kathinka PNG. Ending one, nice. I like when I get the endings in order. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna go through and try the different options. Uh, this first option was to let go of my arm or ask if she was all right. Last time we asked if she was all right, this time. Please let go of my arm. Can you let go? This is uncomfortable. Ah, yes, of course. Just as she wanted to pull back, she noticed something on my arm. Okay, so that's the same. Let's keep going. So last time we said we got the tattoo like five years or so ago. This time we're going to say, I really need to go. Oh. That's really too bad. Her gaze had shifted again. It was back on my arm. Which she was still holding. Okay, so we've seen this. Let's keep going. Right, so this time when she's asked to be our friends, we have different options. We have sure or forget it. Um, what did I say last time? I said, but I don't know you. So let's just say sure this time. I hadn't even registered what I agreed to as she took my hand into hers and gave me a cheery smile. Not that this mood stayed for long. As soon as she saw that one ugly brown stripe running through one of my nails, her face darkened. Hey, listen. I think you gotta know something. Huh? And after that? She started listing off a ton of skincare tips and told me to go visit a dermatologist before leaving. So I did exactly that. And got diagnosed with skin cancer? How insane is that? She just looks at me with an exacerbated expression. Dear, and what's the problem now? Well, do you think she's perhaps clairvoyant? I... No. Ending three. Dang it, we didn't get two first. Alright, let's go for two. Okay, so this time, she's asked to be friends. Forget it. Leave me alone, you weirdo. It took all my strength to shake her off, bringing some distance between us. Oh, that's rude. If you like that, there's really reason to hold back, huh? What? Suddenly, she launched at me, gripping my arm with both of her hands and holding it in place. She just bit me. Her teeth tore into my flesh as she began to rip off my skin. The last thing I remember was a wide grin as a patch of my skin hung from her mouth. After that, I fell fully unconscious. I woke up days later in a hospital. Luckily, someone discovered me and called an ambulance. All I needed then was a skin transplant and some weeks of rest. But still, Thea, I can't shake off this uneasiness. Knowing that woman is still out there. Thea just shakes her head, so we have a name of the person we're talking to now. Interesting. Sometimes I wonder how you survive your own stupidity. End two. Wow, three endings. Let's go. Alright, so that was Stranger's Mark, and I hope you all enjoyed. Now, this may be one of the shortest games I've played on my channel, but I do have an interest in the shorter ones. Um, I find it really cool what creators can put together within the limitations of a game jam, which this one was. What is it? The Was it the one asset... 1,000 word <laughs> game jam, I forget the name. Oh, O2A2, only one of any asset, VN game jam, nice. I've also been really busy this week, so this was perfect for me this time around. And I thought the story was really cool being limited to those assets. And yeah, I found the girl super interesting. Um, she was surprisingly caring for someone who wanted to rip our skin off and steal our tattoo. As long as we were nice to her, at least. And I, I like the setting of telling the story to someone we, uh, we seem to trust that works in like some institute dealing with the supernatural. But yeah, I will wrap up my little video here and say thank you for watching. I promise I'll play something longer soon, I just need to find the right game. Uh, something that I will be able to hopefully play is Dreadweight, which is the sequel to Cooking Companions, which I played a demo of a while back and I really liked it. Um, I believe the full game is coming out soon, but we'll see. There's probably going to be some more videos before then. But anyway, thanks again and I'll see you next time. Love ya. Bye.